I'll try and tell you like more when I start the timer. Yeah, I've got to press down. You know, press S. Mm -hmm. I it's S because I've been watching the House of Ashes one. It's different. It's hard. At least it was early on. Yeah. If we get the bug oh, again, time I, I time. Oh. It's fine, so. Did you do it? One. Yeah, I already started mine. I'm just saying. Yeah, mine started quicker this time too, so my timer's off. Oh, what's your time? 10, 11, 12. Oh, mine's at 15, 16. Yeah, mine's off. It doesn't matter. Just from my timer, I guess. Why does Aaron help me to look at Pravo? It's annoying now because my steam is going to be flashing this entire time. Why is your steam flashing? You know, do you not get it when you get like a DM? Oh, yeah. And the steam, like, flashing around. They DM'd you on steam? Yeah. Because I wasn't looking at Discord, I guess. Sophie, go to bed. She's so needy. I spent like an hour petting her. Like, three hours ago? In the movie? You've gotten so much attention to Looks like old Charlie Charlie and I was home today. To She's a lucky girl. I know, she should be happy. And she got a bone. Give me a quarter. Flurry doesn't leave me alone now. Like you. Gonna find out my future. Only ever spends time with me now, pretty much. It's kind of cute. But I'll take him out every morning, right? And then... <laughs> We sleep pretty much eight hours together. Sophie, stop. You doing your? Yeah. Sophie, I swear to God. That's funny. The Bluey nearly like ruined one of my run, like deathless runs on Dark Souls Three, because he like grabbed my arm, and I was doing like something with the controller. Yeah, she just like. Your mic keeps cutting out, by the way. I know, because I keep trying to walk I'm not near it. Just forget it. That was quicker, for some reason. Spread some of that good fortune around. Sure. But I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. Did you do that faster? No. What do uh, I look like? Maybe I'll slow. Why do I look like a bank? Okay, old timer. What do I got coming my way? You really need notes for House of Ashes, though. The game's so fucking long, and there's so many different decisions you do. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. <laughs> I think I swear this guy's like an actual actor. The sergeant guy. Well, he just reminds me of a character from Full Metal Jacket. Is that the room we go to at the end? Uh, or where fish flish goes, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that's the door. Hey, why the hell are my splits red? I forgot to reset it, I guess. I'm losing so much time. Oh, I only have like one split bar. Mine's just a timer. 
No, I just didn't reset it, so I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it's doing. I don't know why we do 20 cents here, or 20p. 25 makes more sense to me. Doing a lot of movie stuff tonight, apparently. Why? I'll probably do House of Ashes when you go to bed. Okay. Get out of the way, then wake up to do this for you tomorrow. What game have you completed the most in your life? RE4. Like start to finish? Yeah. Resident Evil 4, yeah. 100%. How many times, you reckon? 100. Jesus fucking Christ. I've been playing that since I was a kid, so... Just over and over and over and over again. The original? Mm -hmm. The remix is like good, it's just not my favorite. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. And Dark Souls 3 for you. I think it has to be, though. I did Metal Gear 3 a lot as a kid. And Resident Evil 2. I've re completed so many times. I've done Rosie Evil Remake a lot too. The first one? Yeah. I did as well, actually. And Rosie Evil 2 Remake, actually, as well. You did 2 Remake? Oh. I used to speedrun that. Yeah, I did that as well. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, it's like an hour run. Super quick. What the hell? Go! Jesus Christ, what, you got stuck on nothing there. I'm gonna get stuck on this pipe this time. I was watching the guy do the House of Ashes run. Mm. And he gets stuck on like one of the characters for like 15 seconds. It's so unlucky. <laughs> like he won't move out his way. Is this all you? I can't move at all, right? This bit. Yeah, don't move. Yeah. I go to redo it. I made so many little things. 
Yeah, yeah. Gone. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Mm-hmm. It's funny, a lot of the movement's on you in this speedrun, I think. Yeah, I have a lot of big sections. I hope no one Apparently gets uh, annoyed that my splits are all red. Hmm? Hopefully nobody, they don't get like annoyed that my splits are red. Yeah, and then Pro refused to watch you do a movie run. Yeah. <laughs> it's bothering me. Better than the bug. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna fucking get that now. Apparently there's an Arcane Season 2 first look already. I saw. You watched it? No, I saw it in private. Oh yeah, that's what Aaron told me to look at. Oh yeah, hide and look up. Okay. Go, go, go. This game has made me hate boats. I already didn't like ships. Yeah, and I hate them even more. I've pretty, I'm not even kidding like, when I say like I've probably completed this game more than anyone in the world. <laughs> like, I think that's probably a fact. Probably. It's weird, isn't it? You played it with a lot of people? Well, yeah, but then I put it on my own as well, and it's like, oh. There might be someone else who just loves it and played it a lot. I don't understand what happens here. I always thought that he killed him. I'm pretty sure this guy just commits suicide off the edge of the boat. Like the sergeant. Right? Mm. I think he just jumps off in a minute. Now this guy's going insane and overdose him, right? And then the sergeant just jumps off. Shit like this could go missing for how many years? Around. Well, it's not missing. They know that it's there. They're hiding it, remember? Are they hiding it? Yeah, that's why um, they shoot them all at the end. No, the military. You call the military in. If you call know. the military and you tell them the name yeah, of the ship and the coordinates, they're like, oh, they'll shoot, you. and they'll kill you, and then, or yeah. they imprison you because they don't want anyone to know. Yeah, because, but they've never, they don't know it's there. They just, uh, they know of the ship and what it has on it. Okay. They just, that's why they come and kill you. Because they think, like, oh, you got the gold or whatever. Because if you tell them so just the name, they don't kill you. But you have to tell them the coordinates and the name, and then they'll kill you. I am the curator. The curator of stories. 
stories of love and hate, greed, greed and, beauty. and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this. I'd love to be a voice actor. I'm not gonna lie. I'm here to record the story really you job. choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choice they get underpaid a lot apparently, though. It and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we sometimes you will be determining a story together sometimes did you have a kid separate. like that at your school what one does may not make complete sense um, because we all have different perspectives i've had people die that i went to school with matter. really but, but not like during school yeah each other mm. We had a I'll few people die during our school. Somebody I was like friends with in high school, he died I think when I was like 18 or 19. He was like a year or two older than me and like we were close like friends, we were all in part of the same friend group and he died and uh, they never told us what from. Pretty sure it was like an OD or something but. Yeah. Kind of crazy. We did go at our school, moment. she got run over outside of a pub. We'll have the opportunity to Apparently she was drinking it at like 14, 15. Taken. Yeah, you guys drink so early over there. Yeah, super early. I had my first trip when I was at 14. That's fucking crazy. It's very normal. Yeah, something like alcohol fucks up your brain or something. Yeah, I mean, you don't really... As a kid, you're like, oh, I want to do it. I don't know, we have a massive drinking problem in the UK though. I do, I do know about that, yeah. I never really got the hype, to be honest. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always... Oh, you did a couple of years ago. <laughs> I can't drink. Well, I've never been down there before. Well, yeah, but that's Water, more like depression. <laughs> diving. Well, maybe you could show me... How the pros do it. Oh, he actually said nothing this time. Well, anyway, let's get this all loaded up. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julian, and how Sebastian is when you say nothing for a lot of the options, the characters just stand there and they don't even like respond like, oh, you know, you know, in this when you don't say anything, sometimes they're like, oh, okay, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, in how Sebastian is, they just stand there and then they just move on. They don't even talk. All right, amigo, Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just the new medical school would be. Stuck. Jason's the only one that actually like. And man. Responds. This thing, Julia, it's been rough. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. It's weird. I really hated this game when I first played it. Hmm. And I, I've like grown to like it now, just from redoing it. I know it's not good, but I just, I think because I've done it so many fucking times now, it's like... The characters are all shit. <laughs> no, actually, this group of characters are actually pretty good. Really? It's funny, I was watching... This is the only game that has like likable women characters. 
That's true, actually. I was watching House of Ashes, and uh, one of the comments was like, them two soldiers at the end have more personality than any character from Man of Madame. And I was like, nah, I like Fliss. I think Fliss has got a good I think Fliss is great. I Comrade's think... good. Comrade's okay. A bit of a flirt. Uh, it's kind of his only personality trait. No, nah, he's, he's a bit of a douche. Brad is also good. Like... Sorry. Alex is good as well. This is Alex. Name, well, one Alex is name one he personality trait about Alex besides he thinks Fliss Tough. is in on it. No, he doesn't say that. Well, you can choose it. No, he says it regardless if you choose it. And then he apologizes. Yeah, he, yeah, he does. Be like, he, she, yeah, he literally does. He goes like, okay. well, it seems like Fliss is getting buddy buddy with them. Remember? Yeah, he says buddy buddy. He never, he never says like. It's because it's getting up to there. Yeah, I know, but that's like the whole point. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like Alex. He's strong. Yeah. He's kind. <laughs> He's a dork. He's got nice. Who Alex? Yeah. He's a huge dork. I think Brad's the dog. No, Alex's one-liners are so cringy. I like the cut of your ship. Are you talking about the same person? Yeah. Where's the old crushed bucket skipper anyway? I like Fliss. She's a good character. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... so is everybody on It's funny, I feel like this guy, you know when he plays Comrade. I feel like he's the same character in everything I've seen him in. Like he always plays the exact same fucking uh... role. You got my bronchitis. No, I'm not sick. Also, you'd have phlegm in your, like, throat. You'd bronchitis. I don't. My parents do. You, uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh, I didn't tell you. My nephew's in hospital. Wait, well, he was in hospital. For what? Uh, so you know the... My dad had bronchitis. Like, it's like a RSR or something. I don't know what to call it, but apparently he gave it to my nephew, and then he was struggling breathing at night, so they had to put him in hospital, and then put him on oxygen. Uh -huh. And they couldn't take him home, because he was like, when he was sleeping, he was below, I think it was 82%, I was saying, and he had to be above 90, so they wouldn't let him go. But apparently he's better now. But he was in hospital for like two days. Not like going to the picture I need him to go to. Why isn't he not doing it? Come on. Come on. He keeps going back. I don't think it matters. But... Okay. I was hoping it would it counted on you. But, like, usually I can just get to the ship. Your thing never worked. Like, are you doing it right? Because that's why you're scrolling. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I'm doing it right. Okay. It was just bugged out. You said it was bugged out. Kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to die. Uh, this game just sucks when it comes to freaking movement. Guys are crazy. As an unrecorded breath? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Guys, no one knows, no one cares. No harm, no foul. Look, we paid for this dive. Generously, we're diving. To the client. But if anything goes wrong... Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? I'm touched. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few... I'll set up the tank. The boys will do the final check. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Just one we have to wait five minutes or so. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey. 
pray for you. Do you want to take your dog out a second? No, he doesn't need to go. We doing tomorrow? Uh, chores and Bioshock. You're gonna stream? Mm, yeah. Then it's your birthday. And then it's my birthday. Yay, twenty-five. Getting old now, pushing 30. <laughs> you are 30. Yeah, I'll wait till you're 30. Can't wait. No, you'll be 35. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Thought 30 was the big one. Wait till you get to 35. 35 is nothing. Age is just, just a number for people. Maybe to you. Yeah, because I'm built different. It means nothing for me. <laughs> I'm almost done, Izzy. Cool. Cool. Do you like to go on a boat like this? Just in the yeah. middle of the ocean? You do? No, in the middle of the ocean, but like on a lake or something, yeah. What for? Just fishing? No, you could just be out on a boat, well, enjoying, yeah, relaxing, I mean, have some drinks, have some friends, you know, it's nice. I've done that a lot in my life. Have you? Yeah. When? Throughout my life. you have a boat? No, I do not own a boat. My cousin does, family does, and I had friends in high school that did. And every summer I used to go up to New York and we would go out of my aunt's boat. Yes. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Would you dive like this? No. No? Mm mm. Scared? No, I'm just not interested in dying. <laughs> Don't really know dives because you dive. Yeah, tons of divers die every single year. Even experienced yeah, ones, non experienced ones. It doesn't discriminate, it's not worth it. Mm. I think it's stupid. I wouldn't just because I fucking hate deep sea. Thanks a lot. Same with like spelunking. I can do it. Same with like spelunking. Like I would never do that shit. Way cooler than a regular What's that? Setup. What are you diving caves? Oh, caves. fuck that. Yeah, I, yeah, I never do that shit. I, I see diving and spelunking as the exact same thing. Did you say when my character was moving there, by the way? It was like moving back and forth. Yeah, it wouldn't. I clicked and it just did that. That's what mine does when we do the vent thing later. Yeah. Good game. Good game. The only thing you have to worry about the speedrun is it just not fucking breaking. I'm actually really scared. <laughs> that's the only yeah, thing, I, I, that's the only thing uh, I'm thinking day. about this whole run is just like, I don't, because we're at 30 minutes right now. And I just. Yeah, don't break. I just, I swear to God. Are those two going in or what? 
Because I want it done tonight, to be honest. So we can move on to another game. Game's so fucking buggy. All their games are fucking buggy. There's not one that isn't. How oh, Sebastian's isn't. I think I still had bugs in that game. I didn't, I don't think. I don't think it's nearly as bad, but like, this is obviously the worst one, but there's still some stuff. I can't remember any. I've done it a lot as well. Oh, we'll have to. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, that will be a what? Like, I'm not even kidding. I could. Like, we wouldn't even need to root that. Do you know what I mean? What? The House of Ashes one. You said we do. No. I watched the run. Like, it was so shit. Okay, we're submitting this. Be nice. <laughs> to what? Yeah, we might submit this. <laughs> no, I don't care. So what? Okay. I don't want to be mean to other runners. It's not being mean. It's just the run uh... wasn't good. I'm sure they they probably just did one run, didn't care. I'd go to a coral reef. What's that? That's not like this, but it's diving too, right? You go, um, look at all the pretty fish and shit. fishes. I think you do. Snorkeling? I think you do. It's an oxygen mask or something. And you see all the pretty fish and the coral and stuff. Apparently it's really bad for the coral reef, though. Uh, I just don't, like, care about anything in the fucking water. Like, I don't know, but for me or whatever, whenever I've gone to a zoo and there's, like, an aquarium or anything, I'm, I'm always just like, yep, that's a fish. Like, I, really? I, I love, like, nah. aquariums, I think. Well, if it's a nice one. The one in Chicago is really well done. It's it's fantastic. Yeah, the London Aquarium is really, really good. Uh, the one by Big Ben. Because I've definitely gone to shitty aquariums, and it's like, all right, who gives a fuck, but... It's a really good aquarium, Chicago but I just, I've always just been like, yeah, it's a fish. Oh, they they look pretty and they're colorful sometimes, but it's just like, I don't know. I hate I hate deep sea, so it just makes me, it probably just makes me Well, it's cool. Me. I like seeing the manta rays, Some of them are ugly and I like well. seeing... Well, that's so interesting, though, because I just... I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know, like, but the fish is like, like, have sharks. no eyes. And sharks. You know when there's like fishes with no eyes? Because yeah. they don't need to be, because they're so deep down, right? Uh -huh. so they don't need eyes they're so ugly man i hate them like they don't have eyes they don't yeah if you give them a mirror like <laughs> why would you give a fish a mirror well you wouldn't even want to they're so ugly they like <laughs> well at least they got no eyes so they won't be able to see themselves like a monkfish you ever seen a monkfish i believe so yeah Oh, they're gross. The only thing I, I really hate out of the ocean that literally gives me the creeps is the isopods. I fucking hate those. The roaches really? of the ocean. I fucking hate them. Isopods? You ever see, one. like, a pinwheel bug? Yeah, I think. It's like that, but much, much larger. And they're white. Yeah, but octop you've seen octopuses? They're gross as fuck as well. I think well. they're like, cool. The octopuses can camouflage themselves to their environment, some of them. Yeah. And they move really cool. I think they're sick. There are some animals, that, like some fishes that are just so gross. Like, they're just so... Oh. There's some things down there. Like, we don't even... That's what I mean. Like, we're trying to explore the fucking space. Like, we haven't done the sea, man. There's so much shit down there. There's probably, like... There's probably so much we don't know. Because you can't go down a certain level, can you? Without, like, a... And the pressure. Yeah, and even then, I think you can't even go down there for that. Like, there's so much probably down there we don't know. Like, how much... Isn't there, like, a percentage of the sea that's unexplored? I was reading about... I actually saw something about it the other day about, like, how it's, like, a misinterpreted statistic because when it says, like, oh, 60% of the water's ocean isn't explored, it's because of, like, pressure or, like, certain quarantined yeah. areas or, like, it's literally frozen or something. Yeah, but that's what I mean. There's pretty so many things down there. We, 
we don't know. Yeah, there's definitely stuff there we don't know, but I'm just saying, like, Our ocean apparently it's a misinterpreted statistic. Ocean depths are 95% unexplored. That's crazy. We know more about space than we do about the ocean. That's crazy. Yeah, apparently it's zero visibility, extremely cold, and crushing amounts of pressure. Mm -hmm. Like, isn't that scary? What? I don't know, I think that's so scary. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> like, what's down there? <laughs> what do you mean, what's down there? What is down because there? Do you know the layers like, of the Earth? What the center of the hiding? Earth is the core. If you go further and further yeah, down, know, you're going to get you, down further layers. It's going to get, like, hotter and darker, more pressure. Like, yeah, well, What do you think lives there as well? Imagine that, at the core of the Earth. There's probably, like, lizards there. Hey, there's not lizards down there. <laughs> probably so yeah, hot. Like, there's probably bacteria yeah, we don't know, maybe? Or, like... Fungus, yeah, like I would say. I don't know. It's not a plague. Human eating. I don't think lizards. there's little people down there or something. If that's what you're thinking, like a whole <laughs> what other. What if they were? No, there's like, not. There were... Yeah, what if there was? What if there was little lava people that can live in high temperatures? <clears throat> anyway, we'll never know. So no point thinking about it. That's how I feel about space. Like, eh, who cares? Who cares? What do you I've mean? always been so uninterested about space because it's just like, yeah, I know. who You're gives? Like space I'm reasons. like, who the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm never gonna go up there. Space is cool. I I just I can't get. It's like, no, I just. Because even if we know all this information, it doesn't matter, does it? What do you mean? Of course it does. What if it's an alien? We're not. No aliens are gonna come to Earth. Why not? Because it's just not gonna happen. They would have came already. That's makes, that makes no sense. Like, this whole speculating of what if there's alien of other life? Like, there's not, not in our galaxy. Maybe in yeah. other galaxies, but definitely not yeah, sure, in ours. What if they become advanced enough where they travel here? I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, I know. I've, I think it, I just feel like it would be so impossible. We have to advance. We haven't even figured out thing. printers here, and they're gonna freaking <laughs> figure out how to tra transverse <laughs> a galaxy. What do you mean printers? Do you ever work to printer? Yeah, I've got this. Horrible. Complaints about printers. Just the, the worst, honestly. I've got, I've got a, a. You a keep hitting the printer button, perfect. and it just doesn't print, and then six documents come in, and then it gets jammed. It's like, and then the ink's out, even though you just replaced the ink like a month nah, ago. That's, that's human error. That's not human error. That's printer. Well, it is human error of making yeah, the fucking printer. <laughs> yeah. That's my point. We're going to transverse galaxies. Yeah. Let's figure that out first. Put more effort into that. Also, we're all going to die because of microplastics and climate change and shit. Oh so. my god, you actually just listened to Twitter. No. Why well, are you kidding? We literally have microplastics in our brain. Good. It's like, you know how the boomers had lead poisoning? This is our lead poisoning. What about lead poisoning? Yeah, but like, microplastics, like what they're gonna like kill human race, are they? Uh, there's definitely probably problems with it that we don't even know about. Hey, people are fucking vaping. I even I vaped, and we don't even know the consequences of that. So come on now. <laughs> so dramatic. No, that's true. Like, back in the day, they probably did way worse. Like, they were like painting their yeah, they, it was way worse. They painted their walls with lead, and then they were like, hey, why don't I feel good, and why am I kind of going crazy? It altered their brain permanently. All the fucking lead. Doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. And then climate change is real. I can't believe it's freaking. Oh, you said that is real. Yeah, no, it's like it's so bad though because I'm in Michigan, which is one of like the coldest places. It didn't snow for the entirety of December. Are you behind? I haven't had a white Christmas since I was a kid. Well, you think snow just doesn't exist anymore? No, I'm thinking that the earth is fucking heating up and our weather's all fucked up. And now it doesn't even snow during fucking snowy months. It's been like that since I was a kid, to be honest. It never snows. It snowed when I was a kid. It snowed once or twice on Christmas. I used to always have white Christmases when I was a kid. It wasn't until like I turned like around 15, 16, 17, and it was like consecutively not happening. Weird. <laughs> Do 
Oh, the summers are getting hotter. You haven't noticed that, huh? Oh yeah. I mean, I fucking hate summer. So. Summer's getting hotter every year. I don't know how people like summers because they're just way too hot. Like spring's good. I like spring. It's kind of it's warm and it's cool. We decompress shit. Climate change is going to kill those. <laughs> You're laughing, well, but kids. it's true. Well, it'll be our kids who suffer. That's why yeah, I think it's immoral to have kids these days. I just yeah, that's why you like talking about having them. <laughs> well, because I know that's what you <laughs> No, don't put this on me. <laughs> it is on you. So because you used that to me like the other day. Sun. You were like, oh my god, our baby's going to look so pretty. <laughs> like, <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> yeah, but. You're like, trying to cop out as if that's not what you said. I, I'm like, I. <laughs> I'll enjoy having a kid, but they're gonna I'm burn gonna name my daughter Clementine over my favorite video game character. But actually, I think having children is morally wrong. <laughs> I actually do. Do you not think like, the, our kid's gonna have such a bad upbringing? The world's getting worse. What do you mean? Like, Santa's not even gonna exist. It'll be like, born during the worst time. It was the worst of times, it was the best of times, right? Yeah, it'll be like Santa. Think about like, that. Imagine bringing a kid during COVID as well. You're getting to know People had kids during when it was polio, and they didn't even have a vaccine for that. Once again, it just depends on the circumstances. Best of times, worst of times. Yeah, like I said, global warming's going to get so bad to the point where it's like unlivable, and our, our kids are going to. But be there's worse. vaccines for like almost everything now, and so they'll never die of that. So there's, you know, come on, pros and cons. There, there's going to be a point where you can't vaccine some shit. Maybe you'd say arrogant. Like, we struggled to get a COVID vaccine, didn't we? And even that wasn't no. perfect. Well, the only reason we struggled with that was because there's a lot of um, checks and balances that have to be put out before that goes out to people. So they had to kind of expedite it. Yes. Yeah, well, there'll be a point where I don't think you can even vaccine some shit. Like, surely there's some things that they have vaccine, right? Yeah, like the common cold. Yeah, exactly. So imagine saying like that. But like the common cold can't 20. kill you. Yeah, you can. You can die to a cold. Yeah, I guess oh, if you're older and you're immunocompromised and stuff. But my point is, is that they're not going to make a vaccine for a common cold. Yeah, more people die to a cold than like COVID. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a. Oh yeah, don't say. I don't know about a cold. Maybe the flu. Maybe is that what you're thinking? No, the common cold has killed more people than the COVID. Hundred percent. Okay, maybe in general across all life. Yes. Nah. Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he Maybe was like... drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, it sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, it hurts. Julia. Maybe you have a common cold. I'm not sick. Happy. You're sick. Is everything okay with us? Is it called influenza? That's the flu. What's the difference between a flu and a cold? Well, the flu varies with like symptoms. It's more severe. You can get a vaccine for that. The common cold is just a slight infection, like that you right. own immune system should be able to fight off. It's. Mm -hmm. I go we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Also, it's completely different strands because the influenza is like a whole different, whole different thing. Right here. 
right here. By the way, they don't really know what dialogue to do as you're waiting for you. So they just like repeat shit. She's like, obviously it was really dangerous diving there. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. I the way Brad right, went to take a beer. <laughs> No, he shook his hand, I thought. No, he went to do it, and then uh, Alex put his hand in front of it and shook his hand. Oh, like, okay. as in, like, no more for Brad. <laughs> but Brad put his hand out to grab one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so did you find out common cold kills more than COVID? I mean, it definitely does. Well, don't everyone talk at once? Does. Uh, what does it even matter? You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. Back what check, you, you are not more likely you to die from the common cold than COVID-19. But every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never well, they call it flu if you type common cold. Well, maybe I never the common cold is not the flu. Well, the flu is like... Can be very serious. Common cold of like I have a little sniffling, a little bit of a cough. That's a little bit different than like the flu. Because you can get hospitalized for influenza. Well, people say influenza is the common cold. Here we go. Maybe. She's an influenza. The I always season. saw uh, the common cold is just like um, just a regular infection comes and goes, like a sinus thing. Scare away a little bit. Flu is caused by the influenza viruses only, whereas the common cold can be caused by a number of different viruses, including the ri rhinovirus, the parent influenza. See, there's just various different ones. Well, I don't know. They're different. I've been Come sick in so now. long. Reveal your sources. Like actually sick. Lighthouse stood a Throwing up and stuff. Isolated from the rest of the world. A lone beacon in the night. A sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He heard I used to always think as well, like, his arms, if you get cold, you're going to get the cold. <laughs> See, because the f well She's that can't happen. People still think that now. Like, they used to yeah. say that if you stay out in the rain, you get pneumonia. Yeah, yeah. Which, to be fair, like, I mean, you're putting yourself in a pretty bad situation. Woman answers. I live here. Don't know if you'll like, get pneumonia though, but right don't like, whenever I used to like, get in the rain and then get cold, everyone's like, okay, oh, you're gonna get cold now. It's like, right. Or if like, if you're really cold, freezing. The flu and the common cold have similar systems, and it's difficult to tell the difference alone, but in general, the flu is worse than the common cold, and symptoms are typically more intense and begin abruptly, while colds are usually milder. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? God, I have to say nothing like 50 fucking times on this part. By the way, I got spoiled. Okay. My... We're sticking with axe then. Hmm? With what? Devil me. Oh, why'd you do that? Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to. Who did it? Yeah, why were you so, looking you know, up any stuff for it though? I wasn't, because you know Man of Madan, I've been watching the speedrun stuff. Yeah. It had like a recommended video and it said like God, apparently this story is the, the devil in me. Over to the closet, opens the door. Like this story he's telling. Sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrible. Which I think is actually kind of cool. I don't know that yet. In the dark. But apparently this whole Close. story is like from Man of Devil and Me. And he sees. Hmm. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and it screams. <laughs> so they're already telling the story of the last game Super in this twist. game. Nice. Super twist. <laughs> nice one, Squire. But I don't know the context of the game, so maybe it's not a big spoiler. So. I think you told it better last time. It's a good effort. Do you know? Okay. No what? You've all had your if it fun, is like the story. We should all turn I'm not gonna spoil anything. We will play the game and you will find out. According to standard vessel regulation, we are all required one more beer. I'm telling you anything. Yeah. 
standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I've been following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten floor, good buddy. And I'm out. Ten floor, good buddy. So according to the World Health Organization, 290,000 to 650,000 people die of flu-like related causes. Meanwhile, COVID-19 has killed over 5 million people in just two years. So COVID That's definitely... Two years. COVID's been like around for two years. Yes, but in two years, COVID-19 killed, uh, killed uh, over 5 well, million people. I don't know. This is data from 2021. It's kind of hard to get that kind of data, like, up, you know, to date. You gotta do peer-reviewed studies. I found, like, a study, but it only had, like, um... They I were mean, doing a comparison for it, but it was, like... Color. I'm just saying, overall, the cold's killed so many fucking people, right? Yeah, overall, general, but... COVID's got a... There's COVID SARS, isn't it? Yep. It's one of the SARS variants. Because SARS was around before COVID spread yeah. everywhere. And it was in camels. And it was killing a bunch of camels in the Middle East. I can't remember what it was from. Or like a comedy stand-up or something. But it's like saying COVID's like a pussy virus. And it like... It's, it doesn't have shit on like all the old ones. Like health, like flu and all them sort of... What's it? Mad cow disease and all that sort of shit. Mad cow disease and... I mean, that's only it's if you eat disease. bad... Bird flu, that was it. What was the one that was in Africa and everyone was Ebola. scared it was Yeah, Ebola. Yeah. And then that just kind of fizzled out, didn't it? And... <laughs> yeah. I mean, for Ebola, you kind of just need to, like, make sure you're cleanly and have, um... What not? Mm -hmm. People are typing in my offline chat and it's showing up on my fucking screen. <laughs> You can't die from Ebola, but it's like, you just have to... Yeah, I just remember as a kid, everyone was like, God, Ebola's gonna kill the That's world. That's because Ebola... What did it... I might be able to... I don't know, it was like a thing in West Africa, wasn't it? I don't know, it killed a lot of people, though, pretty sure. Mm -hmm. It is rare people can get the disease contact through an infected animal or a sick or dead person. I think viruses are going to get worse, though. Well, yeah, that's how it always works. Well, yeah, they adapt. They they evolved, didn't they? I have um, a, contact a contact certificate in infectious disease is kind of my whole thing. Yeah. Don't they constantly evolve? Yeah, all the time. I mean, they I projected mean, there was going to be an upper respiratory illness back in 2019. I know uh, Bill Gates so. actually predicted it, didn't he? Bill Gates? Why the fuck would yeah. he matter? No, some other dude. I actually no, read he a book. He, no, he didn't. There was a guy that there wrote is... a book. Honey, there was a guy that wrote a book I, that literally um, talked about this exact thing. And we were like, you're crazy. Uh, yeah, no, but I remember watching a TED talk with Bed, uh, Bill Gates talking about how there's going to be a... Sure, he probably said it. I'm not saying he didn't say it, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking scientists says... were saying this well before. Yeah. I know, but he was saying that we're not even, like, the world's not prepared at all for it, which we weren't. And, like, it's one of the few things we won't be prepared for. Because there's no, like, infrastructure or anything towards it. I mean, even my professor in high school in, like, 2018 was saying that shit. Yeah. I mean, the population's fucking dumb as well, obviously, as you can tell from... They don't listen to their government about what to do, or they all go out partying and shit, right? What's happening? Even though they know there's a virus or whatever. It's because people don't care. Yeah, exactly. But they would care if it was fucking, like, it would kill you. Alex. Hello? Like, you know when you get these videos of, like, 
young, like, 20-year-olds, 19-year-olds, like, partying on a beach, and they're like, yeah, fuck COVID, right, and all this sort of stuff. It's like, because they're not at risk, are they? Mm -hmm. And then they take it home to their like, grandparents and, like, kill them, <laughs> you know? But if it was, like, saying, like, it would kill, just say it killed 19-year-olds at the same rate it killed older people, like, they wouldn't be doing it. It's just selfish, isn't it? Sleeping naked's weird. Mm -hmm. I've always thought that as well. You literally sleep naked? No, I don't. You do. I wear a shirt. Yeah, and then you're like, you're nude. No, I wear boxes sometimes. It depends what mood I'm in. I usually wear boxes in a shirt. Or I take my boxes off. I think most people sleep with just boxes on. I don't sleep with pants on, to be fair. Unless I'm like really cold or something. So what do you just, what do you sleep with? Just your shirt? Yeah, I usually get like a big shirt or whatever. Yeah. Usually. If I have the pants on, then I get too hot. Unless it's freezing. Which it's been freezing lately. Nothing works in my apartment. Like the heat has been so inconsistent on my electric bill for December. Which I left the heat on because I don't want the pipes to freeze. Mm -hmm. It's like 40 bucks. It's funny because like here, Nothing. you don't need anything on really. Like we have heaters, like radiators. Mm. Like, we don't have like heating like you guys do. You have like system, right? Central heating. Mm. We just have. Well, we do have that, but it's just radiators that emit the heat or whatever. But like, because all our houses here are brick, right? Mm. Uh, you guys have like wooden fucking houses or some shit, don't you? Very thin houses. I know that anyway. Uh, they're insulated though. I don't know what. They're not put together with like two pieces of wood. They're sure, insulated. Saying, they're very thin. Also, this is that. a brick building because it used to be a factory. Yeah. So look, this my house is brick. Uh, nearly every house in the UK is. And like it's so like warm in the house. I don't need anything. Even if it's freezing out. I don't know that radiator on very rarely. Well I but guess your homes are also a lot smaller, right? So it's not like you're yeah. heating up a big area because you're it's so tiny so it's yeah. like easy to Yeah. You know. But like the thing here is as well, is like that's why our summers are so cancer because we don't have AC anywhere because you don't need AC. So it's very rare any house has AC. And then Sure, but then you complain about it all summer, don't you? And then you have like an yeah, yeah. AC, right? And you have a fan, so. Yep. That's common here though. Like everyone complains about the summer. But I bought an AC unit. I'm like What do you think? Honestly, there's only two people on my road who have an AC. <laughs> it's always me and my neighbor. We always have our AC units during the whole summer. I'm surprised like everyone doesn't invest in it though cuz they're so fucking like the summer's horrible. You can't sleep. Because like, yeah. brick houses and then that keeps the heat in and it's even hot like it's just horrible. Like a sauna. That's a good thing about the Standard. US. There's like um, ACs like in most almost all buildings. But you need it because it gets really hot here. So. Yeah, I mean our stores have AC now, like shops, but like housing, nah. Very, like, you will not find that an AC in a fucking house here. Yeah. It's not worth it. You, it's like two months of the whole year. But, like, there's some parts in America or, like, what? Elsewhere. Where it'd be, like, suicide not to have fucking AC. Yeah, you get a heat stroke. 
You could literally die. People die every year to fucking heat stroke because it's so fucking hot here. This was weird. That was weird. It showed me like your stuff when it doesn't usually. I thought that felt faster. Like when I lived in Texas, it would get oh, consistently. Um, now that you know, like, I don't know what the it is for you, but it would get like well over a hundred, which is really really hot. Mm -hmm. Like a hot summer's day is like eighty five. So like a hundred is like. He's dead, babe. Good. Buffy's going <laughs> crazy on her her freaking bone. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but... No. Nah. Going nuts on it. She's Take right it below me. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. <gasps> Yeah, like what Fliss is wearing. That's what I wear to bed. She's wearing pants. It's her underwear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't wear underwear? No, oh, I do. Under I do. Just like a shirt and that. Oh, okay. Like her pajamas or my pajamas. I thought you meant you didn't wear underwear. No, that'd be weird. I feel that like is weird as a woman. More so than a man. How? It's the same thing. Is it? Actually, mine's better because I don't have anything hanging out. Yeah, but, like, don't women... I'm not gonna get into this. <laughs> You're gross. No, but, like, women have more, like, things, like... What do you think, I'm leaking all over the bed? What's wrong with you? No, girl, women have discharge, and they have, like... Yeah, so, like, stuff will come out of there. Yeah, and you and have wet not... dreams, you coming all over the bed, huh? No. <laughs> I'm not 12. Mm-hmm. I've never had a wet dream. I've maybe, yeah, one or two in my life. I find that weird. I never really got that. Connie can take care of himself. All right. Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. Well, that's the thing, though. If I was sleeping in the same bed as a partner, like, I, I would always wear boxes to bed. Because I do think it's weird being in the same bed with someone. And, like, being naked, I guess. <laughs> what? You're so weird. <laughs> why, is that, why is that weird? You're so weird. No, because it's like, I, then it's like, yeah, if something does, like, you know, if I do have a wet dream, then like, I don't want to, like, going on my partner. On a, That's what you're Whereas, worried about? Well, it's like, if it goes on me, I'm not too bothered, you know? Yeah, no, I'm not worried about it. I'm just saying I probably would wear boxes because of that. Just because of that one thing. Yeah. You don't want to be <laughs> naked in bed with your partner just in case well, you possibly like, have a wet dream. And it goes up against their leg or something. And then yeah, it's kind of rude, like... Yeah, exactly. Well, no, to be fair, if you're in boxes, it's not really going to stop it either. But, yeah. What you would what you would care if you woke up and my boner was on your leg? I think it's a bit rude. <laughs> rude? Yeah. <laughs> stop fucking, fucking sleep sleeping. I can't, I can't it's not always about you. That's, that's messed up. Like if I woke up to your hard nipples on me, I wouldn't be You're like, oh, weird. Is... Where ew. This is a speed <laughs> run. This is recorded. I wouldn't be like, wow, this is so rude of you. Like, you're sleeping. Okay. The only like the nipple thing is not an equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> well, hard nipples is equivalent to a boner, because that's something like you can't control, it's like bear uh, against someone. Like what can a woman have? I could put my cold feet against you. That's fine. I like that. Really? Like, That's like yeah, annoying. Warm. No, I like it because I'm warm. So like, if you put your cold feet against me, it, like evens me out. Oh wow! So Men that. are always like furnaces. You can do that. Worse. Thanks, I guess. 
That sounds weird now. <laughs> you can put your, my I can put my feet on you. I love feet. I don't know where he is. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. I was with a guy that liked feet before. You do it. Why are you saying that? <laughs> I don't want to know what your ex's fucking fetishes were. <laughs> Uh, now I know. Oh, I'm just no. saying, I'm just saying. Why have you brought this up in the run now? Because I'm going to ask you questions. <laughs> Don't ask me anything. I'm just saying. Oh. No, no. I hate. Why did you tell me Because <laughs> I know everything about you, so. Oh, great, yeah. Oh, that's so gross. Or well, was he like super in defeat, or is it just like a slight thing? What? Like he was super in defeat? No! You said he was with someone who was in defeat. Yeah, but not like super in defeat. Yeah, they were like, okay, they were not like, oh, not feet. Like, yeah, they were not like, oh, I, you know. Oh, okay. I thought they were like, it's like their main thing. It wasn't their main thing. Okay. Ugh, that's gross. Why'd you have to bring that up? <laughs> well, you seem to have already like, suffered oh, casualties. My nice that round. A bold move. Get over it. Smart. Nah, cause my imaginary my imagination's crazy, so it's annoying now. What feet stuff did you do? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Creature, I am. You just he would ask me to put his my feet on him. Like you. Ugh. You just asked me to put my feet on you. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> like put 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 your feet on me. I like it actually. I like it because I'm so pot. That's what you said. Someone Hear yourself. Decide. That doesn't bode well. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant Yay, finally to the ship. I, presume you're eager to get back I to always found the feet thing so weird. Like, it's definitely just like a... It's not real. <laughs> it is real. Yeah, no, you can have any study It is 100% like, real. Like, why are people... People should be into hands more. Like, why aren't people into elbows? Like, why isn't there like an elbow fetish? It, it, like, it's just like a thing. Like, there isn't... It's just... Whatever, man. People make it up because they want to be different. No, that's not true. Where's the elbow fetish? Like, yeah, put your elbow in my mouth. Like, you don't get that, do you? You would yeah. do it, though. What? Put my elbow in your mouth with your. If elbows. no, if I said if I said, suck on my elbow, you'd probably do it. <laughs> well, you're into it. I'm not into it, but if I told you no, to do it, me, you would do it. it. Okay, that's. You'd a good be part. down for whatever I threw at you. You would be down. Okay, you just sound like it's a bad thing. I'm not saying not anything, true. I'm just saying. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I wouldn't do a foot thing. Yeah, that's weird. Really? Like what then? I'm not ta I'm not we're foot. not talking about this around <laughs> here. This is an after speed rush conversation. Okay. I was just making a is joke. Is this your cause... way of revealing that you like feet? No, I don't like feet. I'm just saying. The first, that's not the first time I've heard a guy say that to me. Oh, God. Put your feet on me. Uh. This is what you do for love, man. Uh, you've said you've never loved anyone but me. I didn't, but I'm, I, it's an expression. <clears throat> that's your movement, yeah. I know. Don't mess it up, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up, don't mess it up. Is this the one where I can't walk as well? No, no. That's the number one, isn't it? No, is it this one? I'm Julia, right? Yeah, I can't walk at this point. The next point. Desiree. Better if you don't say anything to me in this part. Okay. Your Thanks. movement's great, honey. It's better if you don't say anything to me at this part. 
plane just Watch autopilot. <laughs> You're laughing at your own joke, but like I do have nice feet, so. Why are you saying that? That's I so do. Go, go. Floating your feet during I have nice feet. I'm not yeah, gonna tell I'm not gonna only fans. I'm not <laughs> going to, but I'm just saying don't put me down. I didn't say you have bad feet. I just said being in feet. I'm making weird. a joke. I'm just you know, I'm telling you that you're wrong. I saw someone have like a fucking You know like an OnlyFans or whatever. But they had like a Playboy thing and it was just their feet. So they're a feet model for Playboy. I didn't really. I didn't know that was a thing. Good for them. Really? Yeah. Why do I care? Oh. That's okay. what it's weird. People can do whatever they want. Yeah, but then she shit on OnlyFans girls, so I don't really get that. I don't shit on OnlyFans girls. No, not you. The girl who had the fucking Playboy fe feet thing. Uh. Oh, I fucked it up. Sorry, honey. You still with us, Captain? Ow! I didn't press S in time. I forgot I had oh, to. Do you know what's funny? I was gonna say press S, but then I'm like, I don't want to backseat you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I was like, she's gonna miss this. <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't know why. I just I felt it. Because I've never said press S before. Oh, maybe I have on that, actually. It's weird, it doesn't matter. Is saying honey like common for you then? You can't just sit around. What do you mean? You call me honey sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, is that normal? For you? Yeah. Hmm. So Do you call other guys honey then? <laughs> Ashley, come on. <laughs> you called other girls baby. You told them you love them. <laughs> come on. Now. I'm Joe here, I'm just saying because I thought honey was like a So honey's like babe for you, sort of thing. Yeah. Whatever they think uh, they're okay. gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. I'll do it. Yeah, better if you do, since mine's all fucked up. Yep. You have to wait. That's probably why. You have to hold left quick for ages for some reason. <clears throat> Alright, go across the room. Across the room? Yeah, it doesn't matter how close you are. I just don't want you near me. Because it fucks it sometimes for some reason. Okay. It's weird, I like honey because it, I never hear it. No. It's not like a UK thing, you know? It's definitely an well, American could, thing, very American southern, thing, yeah. yeah. My mom calls my dad honey. Yeah, that's good. My dad calls my mom honey too, yeah. That's kind of what they use. I think that's the yeah, only thing they call each other. Can't get it open. Come here. People hate babe, I know that. Yeah, because everyone uses so babe and it's kind of like... Do I say babe though? You say babe all the time. It's more baby, isn't it? When you were like, Baba. Okay! Puppy. Baba, did you call other guys honey? You can wish though. Oh, I feel bad. 
for whoever has to fucking validate this rant. <laughs> they don't watch it, they, they just skip through, I'm sure. <sighs> Barricade the top. I hope they do, because holy fuck. It's like, oh, you have to watch their decisions, like if you're doing a speedrun in the game, and it's like, you have to listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine he's like, yeah, so what they do I is I miss this. my QT. Uh, I'm listening to their VOD right now, they're fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't At least we don't do the. That skirms did, Ken. Oh god. Yeah. yeah, but that's fine. Like two guys joking, like it's funny. It's a couple doing it. It's like, oh, they're cringe. Ken. <laughs> oh. Ken, I'm being taken away by the bad man. He's a god. <laughs> don't be scared to go down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my <laughs> god! Uh, yeah, this isn't seeing the day. Like, I'm gonna make this vlog or video so unwatchable. Go. Yeah. <laughs> go go go. Yep. Elfie, go away. No crying. You're fine. Sorry, I just found out you called other guys honey. What? It's you crying? Said no crying. Yeah, stop crying. <laughs> Sophie, stop crying. Hers is like so high pitched. Shh. Can't even hear it, babe. It's fine. Oh no, I can hear it though. Stop it! Don't lick my hand. Like he is literally passed out in his bed and he has not moved for about five hours. It's rare for him. Usually he's always moving throughout the night, but he is so tired today. It's funny because he slept all day as well. Oh yeah, what time are we beating? 2.02 or something like that. Is that confirmed? Finland. Oh look. <coughs> oh. Bless you. <clears throat> Did you hear me? Oh uh, what? Two oh six eleven. Okay. <laughs> I love the way like. Julia doesn't actually get dialogue here if you do this. She's just he's just looking at no one. And then he yeah. responds to no one as well. It probably saves time actually. But he's like, yeah, not a good idea. He's <laughs> like just talking to himself. Yeah, go go. Yes, get so. And when everyone's get so, no one will be. Yeah, two oh six eleven. So soon. Great. Forty more minutes. Okay. Forty. Forty. What well, you think we're gonna be about six minutes or eight minutes? Mm -mm. He's just rounded down. I'm just rounding. We have like Way 40 tight. minutes. Uh, of this game. Yeah. <laughs> I have other things I want to do. Tight. House of Ashes. Devil in me. Bioshock. Oh wow, we're going from one game to the next. We have been on this game for a month. No, yeah. Well, it's because you went away for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, how dare you. I'm not apologizing for that. What are we doing? <laughs> Don't we're following them. We gotta keep our distance. Let's see if we can get him. It's like, sorry, I can't go home. I've got to play my guitar. I moved out. I got a job. I went home to see my parents. Good for you? Yeah. It is good for me. 
Listen, I could get a job if I wanted to. Yeah, get one. I have one. Do it then. Nah. Yeah. I am tomorrow. Working on a what weekend. What time are or... you? Working on a weekend. You didn't work the week. <laughs> yeah, what are you saying? Oh, I ran into something. <gasps> Runs are done, I guess. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Actually, it is. Why? <gasps> Go through the fucking door. Actually, I'm wasting so much time. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I just wasted so much time. He didn't go through the door. Sorry, honey. Uh, I, don't I wasted like a minute. Okay, it's not a minute. Okay, I wasted like 40 seconds. It's not 40 seconds. Maybe 30. Why are you trolling me? I don't know. I wasted time. I think we gotta go through here. How do you struggle with the doors? Uh, it's called the camera went back and forth between it. I don't even want me to do. Uh, I know you've played the game so many times. Oh my god, it's Did almost like this game sucks. Did you hear Remember the door that I always go through and it just didn't let me go through it? Is that yeah, my fault? Same happened. Is that my fault? You did something. Is that my fault? You pressed the wrong button. You broke the door. You want the movement to be perfect. Why don't you play my part, huh? No, then you have to get my movement perfect. Yeah, well, I do majority of the movement in the game, so. That, yeah, so if you're complaining, come do it. Oh. Okay. No. This game didn't scare me once. Yeah, it did. No, I didn't. Yeah, it did. When? Uh, there was some kind of jump scare or whatever, and you're like, whoa, that actually got me. The camera, when it moved, yeah. You always get jump scared. Uh, yeah, but jump scares aren't real scares. Yeah, you going, oh, that got me. It's definitely not a scare, right? It's not like the whole point of jump scare. You jumped because you got scared. Yeah, but they're not real. They're like cheap scares. He lost like nine seconds, by the way. Okay. Okay. Just letting you know. Felt longer. <laughs> what was it? He just kept going back and forth. When I, I, knew I, just, I just fucked it up. Don't worry about it. I was pressing buttons the whole time. I was pressing like W. He was not doing what he needed to do. There's a thing in actually that's a thing in House of Ashes. You hold W after a really long cutscene, and you have to walk forward, and it makes you walk the opposite direction. Uh, so, is that the part where you're cold check and um, that other guy, and you're in the alien area? Selim. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. How do you know? Because I play that game a fuck ton too. Yeah, there's a, there's one random bit. I don't know why it does it. It can happen a few times, but there's that one bit where it does it. I just don't fucking know why. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. I rewatched the whole thing, and like, like Kolchak's so good in that, the whole thing. And... I love Kolchak. I love him. He was even more based in my run that I fucked up because he, like, I needed someone to kill Clarice because I accidentally took her with me, mm -hmm. and he domes her, and I was like, yeah, mm. my boy. <laughs> He's just. He makes perfect decisions. Yeah, he does. Well, he can actually. Well, he can. He can kill Rachel when she's infected, rather than save her. To be fair. Yeah. But that's still a good decision. That's still a good decision. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's infected, so it's like. You, there's something you have to do in order for it to figure out the UV thing. Yeah, or you can put her in the cocoon. Yeah. That saves her as well, doesn't it? Yeah, the cocoon. Uh, I only put her in the cocoon once, and that was to leave her. So I don't cheating. know. Yeah, I don't know what yeah, the if, other. Well, if the military her. come, if the military come, they get her out of the cocoon. Okay. And cure her from the bug thing. Well, they don't actually because there's like a really ominous line they have where they're like, "Oh, how long is she gonna last?" or whatever, and they're like, "Hopefully enough to for the experiments." So like, yeah. There's like a. It's insinuated that they're all going to get killed or tested on anyway. Yeah, for sure. Hello? So I don't think they even live, like Jason and that. No. They might actually. I Jason I deserves know. to go home. Yeah, I think only Salim can live, like actually live, because he can. Salim can go home, right? Mm hmm. Or he can get captured by the military. It depends. 
I don't know what changes that, actually. It's if you call um, the backup with Eric in the beginning. If you don't call it and then you all, he survives, he gets to walk away. But if you call it, then he gets to go answer questions. Because it's an achievement for Salim to go back to his son. Yeah, I didn't kill him my first ever playthrough. Because I thought it would be too much. I called. Horrible. Well, I didn't... Can't you call them, actually... Even if you don't choose to at the beginning. Because if you have Merlin, he can fix the radio. Oh, yeah, he can fix the radio, but there's so much you have to do in order to make sure Merlin yeah, lives. lives. All right, please, fingers crossed the door works. Please, for the love of God. Please, for the love of God. Great. Perfect. Wonderful. It worked. Woo! Okay. But I think we're like five minutes ahead or something. Because weren't we like 1.30 here? Yeah, I think we were like 1.30 here. We're not five minutes. We didn't lose five I thought minutes. we were like a 129 or something, weren't we? That was after we like try to fix it, quit out, and all that sort of shit. Wait, I don't push the box, do I? What are you doing? No, you go in the toilet. Yeah, yeah. You went, did you go across the toilet? Uh, just slightly in, it's fine. Just quickly, I can just quickly like turn, it's not a big deal. I'm already in the bathrooms, in the cutscene. Further could you? Yep. I didn't really Jeez, rehearse. I didn't hurt, rehearse that one that much. I did it one time to test it. I didn't practice. You have to practice for that. We didn't practice. We did a whole run before. I'm saying you don't need to. Like, it's just and we did the 130. Play. We've been practicing. I'm spinning around. You don't need the wrench for him. Like a ballerina. You can just go down. It's weird, like, I've always been into movie games. It's all started because of Telltale for me. Like, I love Walking Dead game. And then from there, I was like, oh, I love any decision-making games. Skeleton. I wish I liked watching other people do decision-making games because it makes you judge them. Skeletons? People. <laughs> they, I'm always like, if they make this decision, they would make this decision in real life. You know what I'm saying? Alex? Julia? Yeah, Ash. I don't know what you're saying. You would have hated my Detroit Become Human playthrough. I haven't played that game. That's one of the few games, because I want to do that on stream. Yeah, I love that game. That's be one of the best ones. Love, 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 love that game. Is it better than Naruto Dawn? They're about even. Hmm. They're completely different, like, vibes, oh, so... Oh, it's not horror, is it? No, like, it's completely different vibes. So, like, uh, Until Dawn for horror is really good, and then Until... or Detroit Become Human is, like, a whole different... I love that what game. Is it, like, a drama action? A drama thriller. Yeah. A good story. I really like the characters. There's a difference between thrillers and horrors, right? I always think... Yes, they're different. Because... Horror, scary, maybe gore, um... Yeah, but I would say something like Quiet dies. Place is a thriller. And I think it's classified as a thriller. It's not I don't like... think it's classified as a, as a thriller. I see thrillers as more it's like, in... um... Crime drama type thing. Like, you remember the next three days we watched with, um, Russell Crowe? That's a thriller. That's a drama. That's a thriller. Nah, I that's think like that's categorized as a thriller. Yes, that's the point of. The oh my god, that whole movie is about him breaking well, okay, his wife out of prison. Then. But I also think I do think horrors can be thrillers. Well, that's a really good movie. I like that movie a lot. Next three days. Yeah, yeah that was such a good movie. I watched it with my dad when I was a kid, and then I made you watch it. Yeah, I liked it. I, think I gave it an eight or a nine, didn't I? Yeah, good movie. I like Russell Crowe. We should watch Gladiator. Yeah. It's his best he movie. gives me like a a vibe that he's he might be a jerk in real life. I don't know why. Apparently he's a really nice guy. I know, but it it just it, he just gives me that impression. I don't know why. No, apparently he's really nice. I think he's just real, like, I don't know. Same with I mean, Will Ferrell. I, I kind of feel like he might be a dick Will Ferrell? Yeah, I feel like he might be a dick no. in my life. 
Yeah. No way. Yeah, I know Everyone he's like a he's fun. Such a nice guy. I know because he's, he's funny. Fun. He's a comedy guy or whatever. I feel like if you saw him in real life, met him in real life, he might not be that nice. I don't know. It's just my impression. I feel like Will Smith. Like, I don't like Will Smith. He just seems like. I think he would be nice. I think he would. Oh my god, he, he probably literally slapped someone because he like insulted his like wife. Yeah, I mean, if you go up to a man nah, insulting him, oh, he's probably gonna on. be a dick to you. But I'm saying if you met him in person, I don't think he would be a dick. He seems like he's got a massive ego. I don't know. What other celebrities do it? Uh. That's what I mean. We don't know. Bill anyway. Murray's like, supposed to be really nice. Now, these are people like they're nice on camera. They're nice in interviews. That's the thing, because it's like, like Will Ferrell. Just he, everyone's like he's super nice, da, 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 and I'm like, I feel like if you met him. What's well, that, like Mel Gibson, right? Mel Gibson's an anti-Semite. And a racist, yeah. Yeah, like, he like... sucks. No, but he's a great actor, though. So yeah, he's like, a great he's actor, a great but he's a dick. He's horrible. Yeah. Can you separate art from the person? Not it's always. Weird. I, I can't from streaming, but I can for, like, movies and stuff, usually. Like, someone like who's a racist or, like, anti-Semite, I could be like, yeah, I can watch their movie, but if they were a child molester, I'm like, no, nah, I can't watch it. Or something. Like Kevin no, Spacey. No, because like, I can't watch anything with Mel Gibson now because I just look at him and I'm just like, you suck as a person. Like, I really... Nah, I can like, watch I can't... Sa like, if I see Mel Gibson in a movie, I'm just like, that's Mel Gibson. And I yeah, heard... Just, like, I've heard... Did you hear, like, what he said? Like, his recordings? Yeah, yeah. But aren't there racists in movies that you like? <laughs> Have you ever thought that? Well, yeah, maybe you like, don't know. Aren't there some characters you're like, oh, this is a good character. Like, he's an arsehole racist, whatever. But, like, he's a good villain. What, yeah, like Leonardo DiCaprio and Django? Yeah, like he's amazing in that, right? Like, I love his character. Yeah, but Leonardo racist. DiCaprio probably isn't a racist. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. But it's like one of those things where it's like you watch it and you think, okay, but it's. Yeah, but it's a part he's playing. Racist. This is Mel Gibson, <laughs> real life him. Yeah, sure, but I'm saying. That's like, Leonardo DiCaprio like, playing a part. It's yeah, a period you piece. You watch a movie and you're going, this is Leonardo DiCaprio, this is Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't. I sit there and think, like, this is this character that I'm watching. It, well, no, because that's me or me and you disagree because I think once you become super famous, it's hard for that actor yeah, to disappear type, in his role. Forever. Yeah, not type. It's, typecast is different. I'm saying they get yeah, so sure, famous sure, they, where you see their face and you're like, that's that actor. Nah, I don't. I that's why I see like... Leonardo DiCaprio now because I'm just like, yeah, he's playing this part, but that's Leo. No. Have you ever seen Catch Me If You Can? The only guy that's super famous that I don't see that way is Johnny Very Depp. Open. Oh, him too. But yeah, Johnny Depp too, because like they disappear literally in the roles where you're like, that's not, oh my God, I didn't even know that was Johnny yeah, Depp. But I, think, I think the same with Leonardo, because I think Leonardo's like one of the best actors. I mean, that's fine. I'm just telling you how I feel. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just saying. Because he's in the same for me. Like, I think he's such a good actor, though, kind of. Yeah. Tom Cruise, I'd say, I have that for. Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise and everything. Yeah, Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise and everything. He plays the same character in every single film. But that's not a bad thing. He's like one of the last action no, he, stars. Think, like, he's, he's great. He's my favorite action. He's like, fucking great. Favorite. He's crazy, but he's great. Babe, you picked I know, I didn't mean to. I was like, stand, I was holding the S. Because I was holding the S for the other things. I, I was holding the S too. for the other things. Oh my god, oh my god. Maybe he's gone? I gotta stop talking to you. It's fine. Went to like one or two seconds. It's fine. It's like five. <laughs> it's five seconds. If we're in the entire run. No, uh, let's start over. <laughs> What's I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Uh... Harrison Ford kind of seems like he'd be a dick. Apparently, well, he comes across like a dick as well. Yeah. But that's like kind of him as well. Like, yeah. He just doesn't care about fame and stuff. He yeah. Hates it. So he doesn't like people coming up to him and stuff, so... I don't know, I don't think he's a dick just because he doesn't like fame and stuff, though. He just maybe No, fine. that's fine, but also it's like, these people are paying your bills, right? They're seeing your movies, they're buying yeah, your merch, they're like... Act. I don't like it, though. I don't like people, like, being nice to me about stuff. Okay, you're not the same level as Harrison Ford, I'm sorry. Obviously Gotta not. Gotta humble you there a little bit. No, 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 no. I'm not putting myself on the same level, but I, I have the same feeling when, like, if someone's nice to me about something I do, I'm just kind of like... Thanks, but I don't really, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't think it's like equivalent though, because Harrison Ford is, you know, 
Star Wars and Indiana fucking Jones. I'm not saying it's fucking equivalent, Jen. Jesus. He's an iconic character that people look it's like. For to. example, it's just like a personality thing. That's what I mean. I think Harrison Ford's personality is like. It's like, for example, if someone commented on something you did that you think was good that you liked, right? It'd probably make you feel good, right? I hope. Sure. Although like for me, I don't, I don't really get anything from that. But that's probably like a sociopath thing. <laughs> But it depends actually. If someone I care about compliments me on saying I've done, I feel good about it. But a random, I don't. Give you a little hint. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, I can take a compliment. Like what? I can take a compliment on things that I do, yes. Yeah. Can't make up your mind. A pity. And dangerous. There's also a level where I think I was like, you're so good at that, Jen. Are they going to say it like the way you just said it too? <laughs> what if they're like super enthusiastic, like, Jen, you're the best at your job. You're so good at your job. I hope that helps. I think you're so good at it. Well, you should, you should teach me how to do it. Okay. You're saying okay to that? No, I'm saying, are you done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're so good at your job, Ashley. You should show me how you do it. Like, what is wrong with you? Well, talking. If, a ghost, if a ghost said that to me, would you? You're so it? good, Ashley. You should yeah. teach me your speed run strats. So if a ghost said that to me, would it bother you? Girls have said that to you. It feels like there's some like. Wait. Like, evil, like literal evil going on down there. Have they? Yeah. What if my speed running is good? Yeah. Well, and they've been like, oh, you're so good. Yeah. Well, that bothers you then, yeah. Alive, yeah, because there's a level, isn't there, when complimenting someone is definitely like hitting on them. Yeah. As well. Yeah. We should spend some time alone together, and you should teach me your speed run okay, strats, different. Ashley. That's different. That's different. I'm talking about like, if someone's just like, "You're so good at that. You're so good," and then like, <clears throat> they're obviously doing it to like get your attention, right, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you can like you've got good? Social... Someone's definitely got your attention for that. Yeah. No, they haven't. What no, they no, no. I'm saying like. You, like this hypothetical that you're giving me, someone's done that to you. Yeah. Yeah. So what? I know, but about. like this hypothetical, it's literally happened. <laughs> yeah, but would you get attention? I'm asking you. Obviously not. Yeah, no, but what if, there's levels though. Like, what's the level where like it's okay to say like thank you? I don't know, babe. What do you think the level is? What if a girl said to me, Ash? Your stream's really great, you're funny. And I went, thank you. Would that bother you? No. Okay, well, she was like, you're so funny. Like, you're so funny. Oh, she'd like touch you on the arm too and laugh at your, <laughs> super hard at your joke. You're so funny, Ashley. I'm, I'm not letting a girl touch my arm. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, they play, like, they push you a little bit. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> okay, why the fuck is you creating this scenario? You literally, like, you propped up the hypothetical. Like, there's no girl close enough to me. I'm like, you're so funny. It's like touching me like that. I'm like, get off me. I have a girlfriend, woman. Don't talk to me. True, you're going to spit on her too, right? Kick her. Well, she might like that, so I wouldn't spit on her. But yeah. You know how women are. As soon as you push yeah. her down or something. You want me to push her down? Yeah, I'm spin on her kicker. She <laughs> might kidding. like that. I'm kidding. It's like, wow. <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't step on her. Some people like feet. Yeah, some people do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Throw in my nails. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like we're not gonna get to the end in 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. A little sweating. Give me a list. I don't know, because what do we have? Radio. Radio. Gunshot. Kitchen. I'll pull you up. Boat. Boat, yeah. Nah, you can get there in 20. That's 26, if you think about it. Why does it feel like we're behind? I don't know. Because we're talking so much, I'm not even like. I think you get more move, movement first. Oh shit! Yeah, go to the door. Yep. 
I'm not even walking up the steps. I'm like floating off the edge. Oh, for me, you're walking up the steps. Well, like half my leg was out. The camera flips here, remember? Yes, sir. When you get to the end. You got it? On it. Perfect. That was down. perfect. Down. Perfect. Hey, come here. Hold X. It's S for me. Yeah. Hit X. S. Go, 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 go. You're so good at opening that door. Yeah, I'll teach you sometime. Thanks for holding it for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean, you're good at I'm picking up when someone's like flying with you. Hello. No, I don't want to talk. <laughs> no, I cause what? No, because I'm just not conceited. No, but Pardon? No. There, there has to be. You don't think you are? No, no. I yes, I am, but also. I don't know. What? No, because I'm going to sound conceited. What's conceited? Oh, Narcissistic. Oh, so you think people are flying with you even when they're not? No, not like that. I just, I think that... And this is actually a proven thing. People are nicer to you when you are conventionally attractive. Okay, so yeah, you're saying... So, yeah, you are so I think... I think, yeah, I think I am, and so... So you think people are just nasty to you and they're not flying? I think, yes. I have no, when, when like, just throughout my life. Hey, is anyone out there hearing this? And then people telling me and then, like, me picking up on it. People telling you what? That I was, like, pretty or whatever, so. Yeah, but this, that's probably, if someone's calling you pretty. Yes, and you. then there's other times when people are just being nice. So I think that I'm pretty good at picking up when someone's worrying on me, but it happens so much that now it's like... What, people flirt with you so much, you mean? Well, they're so nice where you're like... Oh, okay. Are you being nice to me because... You're flirting with me or are you being nice to me because I'm attractive and then you're nice to people that are attractive? Because that's a mm -hmm. thing. And talking about it makes me sound like such a conceited asshole, so... Yeah, it doesn't. It's like, what, like an example. Like, I don't know. I should be the one to go. People have, like, if I'm bringing the cart back, they're like, oh, I'll take your cart for you or whatever. Like, or, like, or like for example, when I went home, like, that older man, he was, like, 50, but he, like, got my luggage down for me. Like, just because it was above me. And, like, and he was like, here you go. And I was like, oh, thank you. Um, say nothing? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I said nothing last time. Um, but it's like, I didn't ask you to do that. I don't think he was flirting with me, but he just like did that. Wait, when? This is when I told you about this. So what happened, sir? So I was like getting off to go off the plane, and the, my suitcase is right above me, and the man that was sitting in the row, like he just gets it down for me, and it's like here you go, and that's it. That's the only thing he says to me. Was he an older man? Yeah. yeah but like just be Yeah, but I have. It's like that consistently all of the time. Okay. Like holding doors open. Taking my yeah, car back. Yeah, I get back. that. People hold door open for me. People get like their luggage down for me before. I've had that. Have you had anybody like give you a discount for stuff? Like that used to happen for me. Yeah. When? Like if I went to a store or something, and they would like legitimately give me like if they're like, oh hair, this is on sale. I'll give you this. And I'm like, oh thank you. Have you ever had that? Or like. Oh gosh, I don't know other stuff. Oh, I this is think. like life on easy mode. If you're I, it's girl. just, it's like <laughs> weird, and it's, I don't know. Just noticed it throughout my life. It'd probably be very hard for you to notice if someone's flirting with you then, because if you yeah, that's my point. Much. So it's like, I feel like if they're obvious with it, then you can tell. But then it's also like some people have just been nice, where it's like you don't need to be nice to me right now, and you are. That's for you. I don't know. I don't like I? talking about it. Who am I? You're Brad. I am? Yeah. Okay. I 
Unless I'm Brad. Am I Brad? No, I'm Brad. I'm Brad. Or this is when I was like single and stuff. I'd just be like standing in a line behind a guy to get a bar, like or whatever. And he wouldn't even talk to me. He wouldn't even talk me up. Nothing like that. He literally would just be like, "What are you getting? Buy me my drink," and then walk away. The fuck. That would happen a good amount. It was wild. I did it on multiple different occasions throughout my life. So yeah, but like, then you accept that as like flying, right? I don't know. They didn't talk to me. They didn't even ask me what my name yeah, but, was. But, they just yeah, bought my drink because I was standing there and then left. Yeah. So That's happened like on three or four different occasions. Well, you said when you're single. So like when you're in a relationship, you just say no, I guess. When I'm in a relationship, I usually don't go to the bar. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's funny. But it's like, is that flirting? Because they didn't talk to me at all. I think so. I mean, I would never buy a girl a drink without for no reason. Hello? I guess Americans are kind of weird with um, I don't know. Tail women. I think British people are a bit more forward with it. Maybe. Why would the fog make us go crazy? That fog is fucking with our heads. Maybe that's what happened here in the first place. Why there's nobody left on the ship? This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection. Maybe they made contact. It's a theory. Let's get going. I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, I can tell when someone's flirting with me because things more obvious with women. Yeah. Most of the time, but it's hard. For, I want them guys though, where it's like, you know, when like I've had this said to me when my girlfriend before, it's like that girl's flirting with you, and you, and I'm like, no, she's not, and she's like adamantly argue with me about it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I remember I went to a subway once with her. It's so funny enough, subway. And we were getting a meal or something, and she kept. I can't remember. She was like, she was like, that girl likes you, and I was like, she's what? I'm like, no, what the fuck? So every time we went in, she's like, she was so hyper around you and active, like, so nice. And then with me, she's like, what do you want? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I don't think so at all. And then it took me. I did realize it eventually, but like, I didn't think so. You know? Huh. It's kind of hard for me to like tell someone's hit on me, unless they're straight up being like, for example, the one you're thinking of, the right. That's kind of like it's a bit weird, you know. I can't. I can't tell you. It's just like weird nicety, and I don't know. Well, it's very obvious. If someone's like, "Hey, you're like." Yeah, like if someone's like talking me up and like asking me where my number is, like, "Okay, yeah, you're flirting with me. Like you're hitting on me, whatever." But then it's like stuff like that where it's like you're just being nice when you don't need to be, and you don't want anything. It's kind of like, what do you do with it? Between what you do with it. I don't know. How do you categorize that? Flirting, not flirting. I don't know, I just don't like people being nice to me. Just don't be nice to me. Pretty much. I mean, shit like taking your luggage down for you is fine. I mean, unless they were like, hey, here's, hey, so here's, your, here's, your, here's your luggage. I also, you're really good, by the way. And also, can you teach me yeah, like, the good thing you Yeah, luggage. Like, that's different. Yeah. Well, I think there's a consistency thing as well, right? Like, just say you're working with someone, and they're consistently nice to you, then I'm like, okay, they're probably flying. I'll try and like, be into you. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean? there were times where, like, I'd be at, at work, and a girl would be, like, trying to joke around me, right? And I had a yeah. girlfriend. And I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to joke around with her, because she's, like, flying. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell. Someone's like constantly trying to like talk to you or joke around you. There's no use hiding. Yeah. You little fuck. What's the problem? You little fucks. There must be plenty of that to go around. Are we gonna be able to do this? And we're all in this together, right? We're at like 148. Yeah. We got 16 minutes till bed. I thought it ended so at uh two hours six. Okay. Yeah. 16 minutes. Okay. Oh. How do it takes so long to lock it? Are we safe? Please tell me we're safe. Oh. Yeah, totally. I mean, 
mean, these doors were bent to withstand all sorts of... Stuff. Stuff. I think this guy's the most good threat sector. Got changing on me now. Don't go change it. All right. Not changing it. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. <laughs> Why did you get shot last time? Did mm. you say something or did you no, just say No, I just said nothing. nothing. <laughs> and I'm the one like there's no mist headshots her. What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Oh yeah, you see the crater. Don't breathe the mist! Crater? Oh, he yeah, he was there. Oh man. yeah. I didn't notice him before. It's inside now. Inside with us. Now. Please just calm down! Stop! Stop! Kill one of us, isn't it? Well, why do you think people are nice as better looking people? Do you think it's just like... It's called pretty privilege. Like I don't know. It's just like a thing. I don't know. It's like a weird phen phenomenon. 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 Like studies on it. People are just like kinder. To people they find... <laughs> More attractive. Well, do you think people who are committed in like a loving relationship would do that? Actually, I'm not gonna flirt with somebody. Wait, I'm not talking about you. Okay, because we're about... in a committed loving relationship, and I know. I'm not saying. I'm saying if someone was <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm saying if someone was in a committed love, why did you say that? <laughs> I'm saying if someone was in a committed loving relationship, they're not going to be like I'm not like because I'm seeing it from my perspective. That's I what. Look that's at, my point. I wouldn't. No, but I'm saying I wouldn't look at a pretty girl. No, I'm saying from my perspective, I wouldn't look at a pretty girl and go. I don't think I'm even subconsciously going to act nicer to her, or be more polite to her than I would an ugly person. Because yeah, you already got a pretty girl at home. Sure, but I'm saying that's what I mean. I sure, pretty... <laughs> God. No, I, yeah, I do, yeah. But I'm saying I don't think that would work with someone like that. It probably is like a, like they like them or they, they're a potential mate. Uh... You know what I mean? Like subconsciously or something. I don't know, cause I don't know. I'd have to look it up and, and do it. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know if it's like an unconscious, weird innate thing. I don't know well, if it's like. like a, um... I'll ask you, do you think? When you're a single, you're probably nicer to better looking people. In general. Yeah, probably. I probably was, yeah. Well, in terms of like, because you wanted to like, maybe be with them, or like, or you're just naturally I don't just know if it was going to be nice. I, I think genuinely I, I'm a nice person. I'm not really a dick. So why do you think you're nicer to a better looking person? I think, I, I don't think... The only time I've not been super nice to someone is if they like, smell bad. Oh my god. Or if they're yeah, like, that's like hygiene. Yeah, it, the only time I've actually been rude or not very nice to someone is if like they smell bad or like their teeth is gross or something. And I'm like, I don't really. Why are their teeth gross? Why are you being I mean have, to them? Have you, I'm not mean to oh, them. I'm just saying them. I'm not being like as approachable. Right? Oh, like if they ask me something, I'm just like, I don't know. Oh Meanwhile, if they're like clean, I'd probably they, like, I don't know. Odor is a weird thing for me. I really don't like bad breath. Like and like, like, like bad he's homeless and you're like yeah sorry uh I <laughs> you stink <laughs> that sounds so mean Holy have you not like is bad breath not like a thing for you it doesn't bother you bad breath or like i've got bad i've got really bad like nostrils like i can't i can't smell much like unless you like absolutely well you're lucky then because i can fucking stink. smell it and it's like unless you absolutely stink i'm not gonna smell you really or i have literally met an individual once and like I gagged. <laughs> You're so mean. 
I just imagine some guy walking up to me like, hey, do you know It was a girl, this? but yeah. Oh, okay. She's like, yeah, do you know the way? And you're like, Ugh. I was like, when she walked away, Ugh. Oh, my God. I, like, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so, like, you're like, oh, you gotta get to your door as quick as you can as well. Yeah. yeah. I guess that makes I'm me so a bad lucky. person. I don't know. Nah. I just really, I can't do it. I can't do bad breath. And I can't do BO. I can't. I can't. <sighs> so is that like a, you're not gonna kiss me in the mornings now? I'm not even gonna open my mouth in the mornings because I know that my breath really is bad. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get up and brush my teeth. <laughs> oh, and then I can kiss you. You're gonna brush your teeth too. Oh, okay. Morning breath is so bad. Yeah, it is pretty. It's gross. pretty pretty I used, bad. I used to make out with morning breath. Oh, I have before. I'm not saying that I haven't. Oh. I just, <laughs> it sucks. Oh. Gonna need you to get there quick. Yeah, I'm ready. Here. Because the whole time, I'm just thinking, like, this could be better and I'd be enjoying it more if we had yeah, brushed our teeth. <laughs> but it's also... Oh, no, I'm not going to say that. What? There's something hot about it being, like, kind of nasty. Yeah. Well. <laughs> just shut the fuck up. <laughs> you said some shit like that to me before, and I thought you were wild. It wasn't about that, was it? No, you wanted to... You said... Oh, <laughs> I don't want to say Okay, tell me after. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but like, well, how's that equivalent though? Because like, you were not, like, because, like... I don't know, we were talking about our, how often we shower or something, and then you commented, you're like, yeah, I want to smell your musk. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're my B.O. Oh, you're so gross. You should have waited. I should have waited. <laughs> Which did you know, actually, fun fact, if you find another person's um, body odor, like musk or whatever they smell like, nice. enjoyable, yeah. they have an opposite immune system to you? Oh, I didn't know that. I just thought it meant you love them. <laughs> no, you have an opposite immune system to, to them. So it's like a pheromone thing for you guys to like mate and have like a, I, you know, super strong baby. Oh, okay. That's cool. Just heads up. me if an ugly person walks up to me. <laughs> me if they have bad breath. I'll just fucking kill myself. Yeah, we definitely beat the time. There's no way the outro is like, what? Eight minutes? Surely, right? Dead? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I just realized like we have to in skip intro thing as well. There's no way. That whole intro is so long. Oh dear. Oh just bear me over to another year. House of Ashes next. House of Ashes next. And we can talk about more fucked up things. Neither are we. Pretty much stuck here. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat. Not this shitty boat. gonna take the duke uh maybe maybe i'll catch a current uh 
run into a ship lane, maybe? All right. I'm taking the Duke. I can't face going back in that place again. So we're ready then? I was just talking to like people that aren't there. <laughs> This would not move the fucking boat, would it? Oh my god, the boat's like... Yeah, it's like glitched out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Julian like pitch black comes from here as well? Yeah, I see that. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Are you worried? I'm so worried. I'm sweating! Hey, it's not gonna take five and a half minutes. It's gonna just show Conrad getting eaten for like ten years. That's so gross. Ready to go. Don't you talk to the creator or is that when the cutscenes go? And I think the credits go while he's talking actually. Mm-hmm. So when does it end? It ends when the credits come. So now, yeah. Two o one o seven. Nice. <clears throat> it's pretty o six because I think I split a little bit late. GG, babe. GG. Let this play though. Oh no, let this play. <laughs> 